Uh, talking about children and children dentistry, and um, you obviously uh, see children, you do sealants, you do all kinds of stuff. What word of wisdoms do you have for a mom, uh, for a young mom uh, with her first newborn child? When should she bring it to a dentist? Um, what should she do with the child, the child teeth? What should she not do? Uh I, you know, in our office, typically what we'll do is in, and when the, uh, the patients are having newborn, they uh, go over all of these laundry list of questions for us. You know, I just tell them to keep on a lookout for when the, the, the children's teeth are developing. Uh, at first, you want to clean the children's teeth with a small, uh, oh, geez, a, 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 a small soft rag, usually like a dish rag or something like that, to just clean debris from their teeth. As they get a little older, you can start to incorporate some brushing techniques into them, you know, with the parent first brushing, soft bristled brush, just get them used to the motion and everything in there. As far as checkups go, uh, we found that in our office, kids at or about the age of three, and we really don't push the parents to have them come in a lot younger or earlier than that, simply for the fact that uh, you, you get a two-year-old and, and the so-called terrible twos, pretty hard to get them to sit in the chair. And a one-year-old, they're not going to want to open their mouth. So at or about the age of three, when they'll tend to cooperate, we take it on a slow, easy pace. At first, we just go in and count their teeth. Take a look. And we're always educating the parents on things to look out for in there. Obviously, dark uh, uh, areas that are pitted and look black and look like they're decayed. If, if that occurs, and even if they're a year or 18 months, by all means, bring them in. Uh, but if everything looks healthy and they bring them in, that's the first thing that we do. Uh, second thing that we do once they get used to that, and that may be on that appointment, it may be on the next appointment, or it may be a year down the line from when they first bring them in, uh, we'll polish their teeth. Get them used to the uh, hygienist going in there with the polishing material and polishing their teeth. As they get a little older and we can and they allow us and there's room for it, we can take the radiographs to start to detect if there's any decay in between the teeth as they're developing. Uh, we're always checking the inside structures to make things look, make sure things look good and to make sure there's room for all of the uh, uh, permanent teeth and the primary teeth to have room to come in. So uh, my words of wisdom to the parents are stay in tune with what's going on in your child's mouth. Take a look. Keep, help them keep things clean in there. Uh, they're kids. They're going to learn. They'll be fine. If you see that anything's wrong, alert us. And when you know that they're going to sit in the chair and at least uh, sit there long enough to open their mouth and just have us take a look, that's the time to first to bring them in the office. Okay. Is it true that um, sometimes when a mom isn't careful and let the baby fall asleep with a milk bottle or even breastfeeding, um, that that can have a detrimental effect to the uh, uh, teeth of kid decay and the gums. Oh, abs yes, absolutely. Anything with a anything with a uh, sugar background or a fructose type of a, 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 a substance to it is going to adversely affect the teeth because, once again, everybody's mouth has bacteria in, and those bacteria thrive off of any type of sugar that's in the mouth. So, and, and I really honestly in my practice do not see this much anymore as far as like what's, what's known as a baby bottle syndrome where parents are putting their kids to bed with a, a baby bottle. I think because of the educational process and because it's just been brought to light that that's not the right thing to do uh, as far as uh, – uh, you know, kind of an all-night sugar fest in someone's mouth. So uh, we don't see that that much, but that can be that that can be nasty. And one of the telltale signs is you see dark, pitted spots and marks on the teeth, and you're trying to wipe them off and uh, you know clean them off with a, a little wet uh, washcloth or tea towel or something, and, and you just notice that they're not going away. Uh, that's a telltale sign that there's probably some decay there. Okay. So basically the key a little bit, some type of key at least what I'm hearing here is, um, Dr. Beda, is that, you know, bring the child to the dentist as soon as he or she is, of course, uh, knowing, you know, aware of what's going on, aware that she's yes. now somewhere else, uh, able to uh, follow small little commands. But 
nothing yet is happening. It's a pleasant visit in the end. It's like we count them, we have fun, and um, right. look forward for it again. So that, uh, you know, hopefully the first visit it doesn't mean pulling a doof or drilling on a doof. Uh, because that, of course, brings with it a, a pretty bad stigma, I guess. Yes, and, and I honestly can't remember, uh, you know, a situation where on a first visit we ever had to do that. Um, uh, you know, get right down to some some dental work in there because if if things are nasty, then there's ways that you could just get them settled down and treated uh, before that. And and if it's really, uh, you know, if it's really a bad situation, well, then that's that's really why the specialists are out there to help us out. But on a first visit in a in a uh, routine general dental office, yes, it should be absolutely 100% pleasant for the patient. And you take it on a gradient scale. You take it and let them take it as far as what they're comfortable with. Great. So what you're telling me is actually that parents um, um, definitely seem to have caught on and actually already – pretty much do the right thing. They inform themselves. They don't let the baby sleep with a the bottle. They don't, uh, um, uh, you know, they, they seem to be coming to you before it's, you know, the first pain arrives. Uh, it seems to be that they're on an average doing the right thing already out there. I, I think they are. I think parents are doing a great job. They're well informed nowadays. They want to help handle uh, the kids. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I just see them doing a great job. When they bring the kids in, the kids are usually relaxed and comfortable and very, very often have a great first visit. And if you know if they don't have a great first visit, that's okay, too. Try it again when they're a little bit older, back in six months when you know they're going to cooperate a little bit more, and then you start from there. It's, uh, it's actually no big deal. Beautiful. Thanks a lot, Dr. Bettis. Thanks for telling us all about okay, it. Okay, you're welcome, Helmut. <laughs>